Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Marmoset. We're back with our Let's Play of City Skylines in the town city now of 92,000 and a bit people of Animalia. Previously, we were playing with this. Well, I was tinkering, you were watching me tinker, and I'm not best pleased. I don't think this spider industrial area is currently working at all well. Um, key things, I think, are problems. Only one in and out. Um, the roundabout district goes the wrong way round compared to the road direction. This is the only way out for a large amount of, well, essentially all of this can only get out by here, and it's just snarling up far too quickly. Conversely, all of this can only get out via this road, and it's alarmingly empty because there's simply just not the people in here. Also, anyone wanting to get to the train station, well, anyone wanting to get to any of these districts has to go down this road. Also, they also have to get past the train station. So, everything is just piling up far too much. Um, too many roads being used for more than one thing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, and you'll see me after the slice, where I will have gutted this. It's going to be empty, apart from probably an external perimeter road, and I think I might even just bring it back down to halfway. Something I have noticed is there are an awful lot of signs here of people saying, not enough workers. Donkey Woods has not enough workers, and this industrial there at district over here is mostly empty. We've got far too much industrial um, zoning for our requirements. So my intent is to gut this. Um, and greatly reduce it in size. Possibly leave some of the road layouts around so we can work with them later, but this is currently not working. I think it needs more of everything. So, I will see you in a bit. And there we are. Here's the vast emptiness that is Spider Industrial. Here is two roads worth of parks, and buildings, support services, bits and pieces and that, that I had in there, which are now going to be all rearranged. I would love to have removed the graveyard, but apparently... Um, there's still dead people in it, and you can't move them when there's still dead people in it. So, there's an awful lot of workers that are now going to flood into this district and this district. Um, or a little industry is going to move into those districts. So we don't necessarily need to rebuild Spider Industrial to the vast extent that it originally was. So, what we are going to do, however, is take a lesson from the design we put together with the bird sub farming district, in terms of frontage roads, um, or frontage roads, and how to get traffic in and out in a pseudo sensible manner. So, we are going to start with a front road, essentially, or at least working out where we're going to put that front road. Now, we were basically going to be looking at doing one ways, so we will have a lane that gets you off and then a lane that gets you on. So, do the same thing for that. So, this will be the lane for getting you into the district. And this will be the lane to get you out of the district. Perhaps a little close? Yes, a little close. We've got the space between here and the border, so we might as well take advantage of that. Which way are you going? You don't say. Okay, fine, that doesn't make a lot of difference. There, done. Right. Now we need to work out what kind of shapes and sizes do we want out here. Now, I quite like the idea of having more than one um, train station in here. So, what we want is for roads that essentially come off this lead into the district and roads that come out of it and lead out of the district. Now, the one-way system we've got previously, we I think will work reasonably well. Or sorry, over in Birdso, I think will work reasonably well. So let's grab a nice-looking one-way district. One-way road. Now, I declared you were the road for getting us in, so have you come out 60. All the way across to here for now. Yep, okay. And then we want a road 
comes back this way. Gets as far as there. Declares the slope to be too steep. That's a disappointment. Uh, okay, so what I'll do is I'll fiddle with this just briefly. So I need to flip the direction of that. That works fine. Yeah, might as well have it dip down a little bit, pick up that direction. So, right, we don't necessarily need it to be as big. So that's the rear two-way road across the back. So you come up from there, down, and in. So. We want it to be alarmingly easy for you to do both things. So, give me a straight line road. Get that far. No. Yeah, okay, that will be the minimum distance. And then we'll come under here. I expect a fair chunk of this road is going to get variously rebuilt. Goes in that direction. Meets that there. Okay, that's gone a slightly different distance. I'm assuming. So that's a little too close. Should be space, yes there is. Okay, so we need to adjust our far edge here. So that was an up. We want Down. So let's grab our three lane road. Ooh, that's too high. Connect to thus, and then we should be able to grab our one way. Connect to you thus. Okay, so that I think will work a fair bit better. I'm just got to of the gap over here. Right, so if you do feel the need that you need to turn around, you can do. So that one comes all the way down along here. You're going that way. So what I can do is if I reverse the direction of that road. Oops, that doesn't line up with that end, does it? Hmm. No, no, it's fine. I just need to have the road carry on, that's all. So, let's... Ooh, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, there it is. You... Far enough. Yeah, how do you carry on and then I'll just flip your direction? Just go a little bit further along with our merry road system. Nope, one more. No idea if that's the right distance. Oh, I'm one short. I don't think the snapping will let me accommodate for that. So I will massively overrun it. 
，英雄大战值呢？ Essentially, doing is turning this frontage road into one very long roundabout. Like so. That's the wrong size. That's the wrong direction. It's going to cause me a slight traffic problem, so let's grade just that section there into split. So you've got three directions in both ways, but it's enough. Ooh, apparently, I have a section of track here in the wrong way. So that is essentially one enormous roundabout. If they should need it, right now, what we had over here. Ooh, was a interchange road that was a dam site closer, which I will probably actually make a smaller size. Bingo! Okay, there we go. So this is a decidedly larger. Set of roads that we've got here. Much bigger, much more traffic, much higher density in terms of getting on and off. One thing I will do because we are apparently missing a road connection. Just plug you in like that at some kind of strange, weird angle. Right. Okay. So. Need to connect this up on the front. Highway connections. So we decided that this was the in, and then we had an out coming up later. So what we want is several of these. Getting in and out as easy as possible. So, so you do the same coming off the other side. We will go like that, and then double row at the end. Yep, I'm aware this is going to look a bit messy, but this is a huge and very important industrial zone. And the lesson that I am thoroughly taking away from our previous efforts here is that we would just had a massive traffic problem because we simply weren't letting people get on and off this rig. Get on and off it as easy as they could do. So this is what this is about. The learning experience here is about making sure 
this road network is as robust as possible for large amounts of traffic because at the moment we are only using I think possibly a third of the space available that's uh oh, that was quite so sharp Right, so that's all the inroads done. Now we need to get you out. Right, I am tempted to think actually it would have been more sensible to have all of these ones as tunnels and all those ones as out. So I'll be right back after I've done some tidying up and flipped over my decision. The shape will be the same, they'll just be underground. Back in a bit. Almost looks like some kind of weaved dough. So if you look at it, you're coming. You want to get to here. Off. In and in, in and in, in and in, in and in, in and in. We're getting off. Out and out, out and out, out and out, out and out. So keeping everything based on the up and down level. So this should help a fair bit in making sure we have plenty of space for all the traffic and the rest of it. Um, I am going to experiment with upgrading the highway lanes between the junctions, so that there is a dedicated left turn. Line. No? Okay. Let's just keep those ones, because they are just a wee bit more crowded, shall we say. Um, I could go... Slope too steep, apparently. Interesting. Can I upgrade that one? Yes. Dedicated left turn line. Okay, so you come actually in afterwards. The dedicated left turn lane in there. Just see how that works. So, there we go. That's the on off road system. So, what the rest of the district will look like is essentially not an extension of this. This is going to be a self contained unit. When we want to extend further out, most likely what I will do is I will put a dedicated flyover or fly under highway in. Well, we'll try it, we'll have a look. Um, we'll see how this holds up with the traffic it's going to get, but if it looks like it's doing well then we can probably extend it out another row. Not necessarily as far as we might want to originally, but I think we could probably cable it. That, hmm, how many alongs is this at the moment? A straight line. 40 units. Okay. Could we put more on the back of it or not? I don't know. What I am going to do, do excuse me, is put in the railway station. So, that will be a road that is literally just for the railway station. So, I will take a single two lane, I'll bring it out from here to here. It will come along to there and come back in again. And then I will do the same from here. Okay. Apparently I need to come out a little bit further. Uh, what I will do is I'll just grab that road and run it all the way along. To there. Just quickly these things out. Okay, right. So, you're going that way. Yeah, I will just double check. I'm not, I am intended to buy a new cargo station anyway. Cargo train terminal. You don't fit there, so you will be going on that side. So I will want you... Okay, so we do need to make a big gap. Fair enough. Just how big a gap do we need? Can we answer by over here? So, let's just move that path all the way down here. Grab a road. Okay, so you can go in as long as we go at least... Make it 15 units so we've got plenty of space. So. 
Well, I do want to make sure I've got all of this is usable. Three, 15 units out. Okay, so. Nice, right. So, straight line, out, in, in, delete. Entering in four, okay, so. Ooh, no, give me the bulldozer. Not those two, but. Those two. Yep, fair enough. And I will for consistency stake. Just put an extra little road in there, which I will probably fill with interesting in services and the like. Right. I'm gonna call it there. I think that's plenty enough for this episode. <laughs> I have been the Marmoset. Thank you very much for watching as we start to rebuild our industrial district. I have a feeling this is going to get a lot less filled up with traffic because people can get where they need to go much, much easier. Mm. Like, subscribe and comment if you please.